now we got oh. the... Yeah, we're going on to the main <laughs> event. <laughs> I was going to say, your pick. <laughs> My pick for the night, it is Team of Petruck, Maya Uitani, and Momo Kogo taking from Stars, taking on Mafia Bellas, Julia, and Sacco from Donna Demlanda. Again, everybody knows my love for Julia. Her and Saida are my like two favorite women in this company. Um, you love, love, love Julia. I, love I, I, I very much agree. <laughs> she is she is so good, man. And just Part such a fast start. Sure yeah, this is just a great fast start. In this match from Sekula and Momo, they're just moving, just moving, and just so much good stuff. Julia getting that like the SDF cross leg and then pulling up two curb stomps, two to Momo, like not just one, one smashing their face into the mat's enough. No, nah, I'm gonna do it again and smash her face into the mat again. I was just like, oh Jesus. But what's the zombie world rule? Double tap. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It <laughs> but yeah, it, I guess this was, I was just like, Sekka applies a mood lock onto Momo, and but Maya ends up breaking it. But like, just seeing Sekka do that that mood lock, I was just like, yeah, I love the I love the mood lock. I, I, again, TJP does it absolutely phenomenally. But getting to see it over here in Stardom too, I'm like, yes, more mood locks. <laughs> I love the mood locks because yeah. I don't know if Mudo can even do them anymore. I don't think he has the ability to bridge like that anymore. So I was going to say, it might be a little tough. Yeah, so getting to see that move, you know that the new generations of freshman wrestlers are taking that move and continuing it. I absolutely love it. Um, Mayu Itani, like, just reckless as all hell, as she always is. Just mm-hmm. absolutely phenomenal with everything she does. Uh, Seka, huge buzzsaw kick. And then goes for the pin on Momo, on uh, Saya, but or Mo or I'm sorry, on Mayu, but Mo ended up breaking it up, and then gets a second rope uh, cross body, just 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 the Momo, just how she comes off with that just extension and how she comes through looks so good, like it just mm-hmm. like all the starter women, I think a lot of them, almost like ninety nine percent of them, just look so good in the way they do it and just how how they do a move themselves how they arch how they how they open themselves up how how you perform it look it, they make it look so good like mm-hmm. absolutely fun my Irritani with that crazy suicide dive onto mafia bella and momo on the floor like momo got hit with it that was the funny part momo got hit too in that suicide dive but like just that, that suicide dive yeah i've seen that i've seen so many people do suicide dives and he's just like oh okay but when Mayu does it, it looks like she's about to kill herself. Like, and I, I, it sounds bad, but she the way she goes out, she's she's almost wild in the way she does her suicide dives compared to everybody who's like comes through like so tight and through. And for the Mayu just comes through like ah, it almost looks like so wild. But it's it's so it's so her. It, it mm-hmm. it's 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 very much her. It's it's if she didn't come through like that, you would almost think oh. What, what what's what's going on here, right? Because mm-hmm. it's the wildness from Mayu Itani and and how good she is, how perfect she is while doing the wildness is why I really like her. Um, mm-hmm. Towards the end of the second, very much a wild disregard for her personal health and safety. Yeah, uh, it's like a get get a tombstone on uh, Mayu, but only got a two out of it. Uh, so and Mayu end up going up to the top and ends up hitting a moonsault salt onto Thakla and picked up the win. Again, like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mayu hit the tombstone, only got two. I apologize. And then yeah. she went to the moon up to the top to get the moon soul flu. And I apologize. I just read my notes the wrong way. <laughs> but again, like, absolutely phenomenal match. Like, just all four of these women, absolutely phenomenal. Julia, Mayu, two of the top women in this company. Thekla on the rise. Momo, one of the young burgeoning stars that's going to be a top star someday. Again, all these women work so well together. I am a huge fan of this. And, like, I I look forward to more from all these women in this tournament and beyond this tournament. Like, I'm, I'm excited for more. I really am. 100%. 100%. This match was so much fun. So much fun. And you're absolutely right. Julia is just super, super smart when she wrestles. But the combination of her and Thekla, with Thekla's just unique offense and even her unique defense is just absolutely incredible um i love how both of them have had that um that that complete change in the, the outfits and everything you know i've, I've mm-hmm. always been a fan of thecla's like i guess the black widow gear 
kind of that she has with the black leather and the straps and the, mm -hmm. the cool little spider things on her her coat, even though I am arachnophobic and I really don't care for spiders. Um, See? I feel she, the, the, the difference where she's kind of almost shed that little skin and become the suave kind of Mafia Bella character along with Julia is absolutely incredible. But Julia is just known for being the chameleon within Stardom as well. I would almost argue that Mayu is, is pretty up there also. Um, her outfits, though, they are technically sort of like all kind of ba built around the same kind of blueprint. Mm -hmm. She does have some pretty you know, wild out there outfits. Sometimes they're shorts. Sometimes they're like this, where she's got one side is shorts, one side is pants. Sometimes she's wearing capris. Sometimes she's wearing full pants. Sometimes the pants are open. It's just a lot of fun to see all the fun kind of mm. outfits and stuff that they they have in, in stardom and how they change them. Yeah, very much so. So from here, I'm going to close this. Uh, before we move, before we end this show off, I'm going to give you an update at the end of night six, or end of whatever show this is. I don't think it's night six anymore. I think it's just, just a copy paste. But the end of the November twenty seventh show, uh, you have Mafia Bella with uh, Julia and Sekla. You have Aphrodite, Tommy Hayashida, and Saya Kamatani, and you have Mel Mel, Mel uh, Nazi Poi and Tam Nakano's all at eight points. You have Karate Brave at seven points. You have Black Desire, which is Momo Watanabe and Starlight Kid at five. Petrox, Mayu Itani, and Momo Kogo at four. Then you have We Love Tokyo Sports, Saki Kishima, and Freakin' Death at two. And then sadly, at zero points, you have My Fair Ladies, Lady C, and My Sakurai. Mm -hmm. Again, My Fair Lady... We and we love Tokyo Sports are easily mathematically eliminated at this point because again, there's only two shows left. There's no way. I really don't see Peach Rock being able to do it again. I know they have two matches on a show next weekend. Uh, they have three matches in two shows next weekend. So on the Saturday show, they have two matches on the sun, and then on the Sunday show, which is the finals, they have their final tournament match again. Huh. Why they couldn't have wrestled on the Stardom Showcase show, I don't understand. But again, this just <laughs> the way Stardom likes to double up matches for people for, for Aphrodite and for Petruck. I don't get it, but it happens, I guess. Um, and then, so I'm pretty sure those teams are out. Yeah. Personally, Black Desire has a very small chance. Uh, Karate Brave, Mal Maltier, Aphrodite, Mafia Bella. I think it's coming down to those four. It, it really is in that division. I think it's one of those four teams. I, and I personally, I could really see Aphrodite taking the Red Goddess division. I, I really do. And then on the Blue Goddess side, we have BMI 2000s, Natsuka Tora, and Natsu and Natsu Ruka, Ruka from Oeda Taya, and My Hemi and Himeka from Don Mundo at eight points each. Then you have the new eras, Amy Saray and Mirai. And then you have seven ups, Nane, Takahashi, and you both at seven points. And then you have FWCs, Hazuki and Kaguma at six. Then you have, and that's, I think, where the elimination line is right after mm -hmm. FWC because the other three teams are Wingori's, Hanan and Saeeda, Waka Wilds, Waka Tsukiyama and Saki. And then O2 lines, Azumi and Ma Miyu Amasaki. At all at two points. Again, there's no chance for any of them with only two nights left to go for them. So I think it's coming down to one of those top five teams. And I honestly think I would, I think the match I want to see in the end is Aphrodite taking on BMI 2000. Ooh, that because, would be a fun one. Because either team winning that, I could see easily being the team that goes up against Meltier. Mm -hmm. yeah and that would be a really incredible match to see um Utami and Tora go at it again in a tag team capacity I, I would love to see that definitely love yeah. to see that I would love to see it yeah, yeah so yes sir yeah so uh before we go, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Rogue Energy. I was going to point at the thing right there. Uh, scan that QR code or go to rogueenergy.com and use the promo code OLEPODS for 10% off your order. And I want to thank our friends over at our local establishment for uh, 
being being partnered with us, so we do get the Rogue Energy sponsorship as being the, the response with Olipot with uh, our local establishment. You can check them out on Twitch at our local establishment, on uh, Instagram at OLE Podcast, or on Twitch. And I've got to get the name, but it will be I think it's OLE Pods. It'll be in the description below. And we are going to be starting to try and do some Twitch stuff just for fun. We don't know. You never know what's going to come out of all of it for all of us. Um, I also want to thank our one of my closest friends in the world, Mike the Ref, over at Backbreaker Video. Um, thank you so much for simulcasting all of our stuff. You can check him out at Backbreaker Video on YouTube. Uh, you can check him out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Uh, he's there every Wednesday doing the Dynamite Sidecast and also uh, multiple other t- nights of the week playing video, playing awesome video games. And he's always asking you to be part of the do not be part of the problem, be part of the solution. So we all should live our wit- lives by that way. Um, and uh, if you are watching us on Backbreaker Video, check us out on our YouTube page at Andre and Melba Wrestling Talk on YouTube. Uh, you can find myself on Twitter at that Canada guy, on Instagram at that Canada dude, on uh, the random social media is popping up at that Canada guy as I sign up for them because I'm going to at least hold the name. And uh, you can find me on Facebook at the Andre and Melba. Andre and Melba Wrestling Talk Facebook page. Mel. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find the, your Melba here on Twitter at Collins Melba. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Melba Collins. And again, the Melba or Andre and Melba Wrestling Facebook. Um, wrestling Facebook? Wrestling Talk Facebook fan page. Wow, that was a tongue twister, isn't it? See, That's words suck. I forgot to mention. If you want to watch Stardom, we will leave a description box or description link in the box down below. It is at stardom.com. It is 920 stardom dash world.com dash world.com. Um, 920 yen, ten dollars uh, Canadian, possibly less American, totally worth the cost. That being said, Andre, if you have nothing else to say, my friend, we are good. Excellent. I am your Melville. That is your Andre. We will see you next time. Adios.